It's a new update, so you guys know exactly what that means. We have a whole new set of damage numbers that we're going to have to go over just so you guys know exactly which stat pet you should be using for your loadouts to be doing the most amount of damage for the value. In order to do this, we've been here in the final area testing all of the pets all the way from the fourth highest stat pet all the way to a shiny huge just so we know whether or not it's actually worth it for us to be buying something like a 3 million diamond stat pet or even a 6 million diamond stat pet. I think you guys are going to enjoy this one. I'm going to make it a little shorter than usual. I don't want to go over each and every number. I just want to get the information out to you guys. So let's take a look at the numbers. If you want access to this data sheet that we're about to go over, it will be available in my links tab inside my discord. Link will be down in the description. You can join for absolutely free. We also have daily giveaways on there. So there's really no reason you shouldn't be in already. Remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video. We do stuff like this for every single update that comes in Pet Simulator 99. So subscribing is basically the best way to stay on top of these things. Let's get right into it though and let's look at these numbers. But before we do look at those numbers, let's go over those stat pets that we're going to be testing for this video. And the highest power stat pet that we're going to go over in this video is the Jelly Alien Rainbow Shiny, which is selling for about 5.6 million right now. The power on this thing is 5.59 billion, so we're getting pretty high up there in the numbers. I remember when the highest power stat pet was just in the thousands, so every update we're getting crazier and crazier with these power numbers. But the second highest stat pet we are going over is the Mebo in a spaceship, which is Rainbow, selling for about 2.42 million, so not too expensive, but definitely cheaper than the Jelly Alien. Behind that one, we have the Rainbow Clover Axolot, which you get from the St. Patrick's Day event that happens behind all of the eggs in World 1 every few hours. And then finally, the lowest power stat pet is this Rainbow Jelly Alien. So not the Rainbow Shiny, but just the Rainbow version of it. So these are going to be the four stat pets that we are going to be going over so basically the jelly alien rainbow is basically the baseline stat pet that you just need to have no matter what so even if you are the brokest person watching this video and you have at least one exclusive or one huge you're gonna want this rainbow jelly alien because anything below that is just not gonna make sense for the value now moving on to those stat numbers these are basically all of the damage numbers that i just got from those tests in this first column, I just put some of the general prices for these exclusives just for value reference. But next to that, we have the power column, which really only works for these first four stat pets. It doesn't look like there's much of a power difference between these four, but there are some huge damage differences that we're about to go over. So don't let these power numbers fool you because the way damage works in Pet Simulator 99 is very different from just the power that your pets have. Next to it is the name of the pets, obviously, and then we have those juicy damage numbers where all of these numbers were taken from damage done to a lucky block event used in the final area. So all of these damage numbers are consistent on the same breakable, just so you guys know. And then basically the second to last column is the important stuff. I'm sure most of you know this, but all of your exclusives and all of your huges base their damage off whatever your best stat pet is in the game. So for all of these damage numbers, it's going to be basing all of this damage off of my rainbow shiny jelly alien because that is the highest power stat pet that we have in our inventory at the time. As you guys can see here, the 85% exclusive is doing 84.85% of the damage of the rainbow shiny jelly alien. Now the reason why this number isn't exactly 85% is probably just because of how we are getting these damage numbers. The only damage number that we can get are the rounded up versions. So that's why these percentages aren't going to be exactly equal to the 85% that it's supposed to be. And then as you can see the 90% exclusive does 90.15% of the damage of the rainbow shiny jelly alien and so on now the important information from these damage numbers is to know how much more damage your huges are going to be doing by upgrading from one stat pet to the other to make that easier i have a second page on the excel sheet that just has the stat pet numbers and then the damage differences from the rainbow jelly alien so for example if you got the rainbow clover x a lot that's only going to give you a 2.41 percent damage increase over the rainbow jelly alien 
But on the other hand, if you were to upgrade from the Rainbow Mebo in a spaceship, that's going to give you a whopping 82% damage increase for all of your huges and all of your exclusives. So in my mind, if you have any huges, this is most definitely the one that you should have at minimum. Now, if you were to go ahead and even buy the Rainbow Shiny Jelly Alien, that's going to give you a 98% damage increase over the Rainbow Jelly Alien. So almost an additional 20% damage increase from this one to that one. Now, obviously, you're going to want whatever the highest power stat pet there is in the game, but the prices of these stat pets can be very deterring sometimes. So I understand, and that's why the Rainbow Jelly Alien is just the best one that you should have overall, no matter what, if you have any exclusives or any huges. This thing is only 50,000 diamonds, and that's going to give you a decent baseline damage value, even if you aren't that rich or have that many pets at all. And then the Rainbow Clover Axolot really doesn't give you much of a damage boost at all, so I don't think any of you should go ahead and be upgraded from the Jelly Alien to the Clover Axolot. Once you do have multiple exclusives or even a huge at all, I definitely recommend getting the Amiibo in a spaceship rainbow. It is definitely worth it. I think it's about 2.5 to 3 million diamonds right now. But that 80% damage increase for your huges and exclusives is just undeniable. And it's definitely worth the diamonds. This is going to enable you to grind a lot faster. And then I would say if you have more than 5 huges or like a team of exclusives, Definitely go with the Rainbow Shiny Jelly Alien. This is going to be like another 3 million diamonds. So a total of 5.5 to 6 million diamonds to get this stat pet. But trust me, it is worth it. That additional 20% damage is going to help you a lot. Personally, both of my grinding accounts have these Rainbow Shiny Jelly Aliens. If you are upgrading from the Rainbow Mebo, you can just go ahead and sell this and then use that extra diamonds to help you to buy this one. It's still going to be a 3 million diamond difference, but you are going to make more than that back in diamonds by upgrading. You just have to trust me on this. The only negative to buying these stat pets is obviously the prices of those pets are going to go down with time. So by the end of the update, these are pretty much not going to be worth much. But since we still have a decent amount of time until that update comes, this is definitely the best time to be picking one of these up because having that increased damage for the whole wipe is going to enable you to just grind that much faster. And then let's just briefly look over some of these other stats. So obviously the 85, 90, and 95% are going to be doing those respective numbers compared to your best stat pet. The gold 85% exclusive was only doing about 2.5% better than my best stat pet. And these gold 85% exclusives are about like 2.5 million right now. Which is basically the same price as the Rainbow Mebo, and it does more damage. So if you do have a team of stat pets, it would be worth it to get some of these low-end exclusive pets that are gold. If you can find a good deal on them, sometimes it's hard to find them, but for value, these are pretty good at the moment. I didn't really talk about it, but this last column is pretty much just the damage difference from the last pet in each column. So for example, the gold 90% exclusive is going to be about 5% better than the 85% gold exclusive. So nothing too crazy. I just like to use these numbers just to see the differences between the different columns. If you are upgrading from stat pets, these gold 90% exclusives are a decent deal right now. And then as well, of course... Like always, pretty much the 85% exclusive from each of the gold, shiny, and rainbow categories respectively are going to be the best deals. None of the 95% exclusives are worth it for any of the categories, especially the regular 95% exclusive. Because the gold 85% exclusive actually does more than the 95% exclusive and cost less at the moment. So if you do have some of these 95% exclusives, it might be a good idea to actually sell those just so you can get some gold exclusives, which are going to be doing more damage for your setup. And then same thing with the gold 95% exclusives, the shiny 85% exclusive does more damage and is cheaper than the gold 95s, but I don't think anybody was buying gold 95s anyways. Just something to point out, it is absolutely crazy how expensive a lot of these things have gotten, but it's looking like it's only going to get worse from here. I should have a video later out today about the market, so look forward to that. 
pretty much everything looks normal with these huge tests. These are just the damage numbers for regular golden, rainbow, and shiny. If you want to check out these damage numbers, the only thing of significance to point out is that it does seem like the golden huge is only 20% better than the regular huge. That's pretty much it for the damage numbers. Those are the stat pets that we currently have available. The rest of the stat pets, there are like less than 100 that exist and it's pretty much impossible to find one. And even if you did find one, they're going to be too expensive to even justify using for your characters. If you have any questions about this, come in the Discord and ask one of the staff members or me if I am around. For the next three days, we are doing daily giveaways on there, so don't miss out. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace out.